from the cocktails with T and the J's. I'm Turquoise. Got my sister Janice and my mom Janice with me. Hello. Hey. And today we have a lot to discuss. We're going to discuss the um, unfortunate passing of rapper Archie from that song, We Ready. You guys, of course, probably played that back in high school. Um, the passing of Liz Sheridan, the mom from Seinfeld, who played Jerry Seinfeld's mom. Um, the baby shoots an intruder. Jocelyn Hernandez is being sued for $25 million. Some things have been, um, things have been, well, let me say it like this. Cash Out has been exposed. Rapper Cash Out has been exposed, and we'll go in more detail. Um, Fanny Newton and uh, the things she's going through. And Tashina Arnold puts Black Twitter in a frenzy. <laughs> All right. Um, so first... I did want to give our condolences to Liz Sheridan. She played Jerry Seinfeld's mom on Seinfeld. Um, and just, what was it, last week? The, the um, other mom, one passed. Yeah, Estelle Harris, the one that played oh, George Costanza's mom, passed. Yeah. But um, it's unfortunate, but they were in their 90s. Like, yeah. I think Liz so just they turned, lived a good yeah, life. 93. Yeah. And, Tell um, them to the women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. But may they rest in peace. Yes. Um, okay, so... Moving along. Okay, so Fanny Newton, she was an executive producer as well as um, one of the leading roles on the new Magic Mike, um, the sequel. And so reports were stating that she was fired from the movie after ha having a tantrum with um, Channing Tatum over Will Smith and Chris Rock's um, Oscar fiasco. But that story is false. Um, reports were stating that actually what happened after filming for 11 days in London, she left abruptly to deal with family matters. Um, a lot of people are saying it's due to her and her husband, um, you know, getting a divorce. We're not too sure. Um, it's all know, more so, Yeah, the details. But she was replaced by, um, what is her name? Selma Hayek, mm -hmm. I think. Um, so, any, so, uh. Oh, and there was also discussion that she is receiving rehab. So they're saying that she was placed into rehab to deal um, with her um, mental stress, which uh, right now is an allegation. That nothing has been confirmed, but we do know that she is dealing with a lot with her family. Do um, you have anything to say about that, Jenny? So, so. Prayers to Thandy. I think she's an awesome actress. You know, we joke around a lot here, but I do have a lot of respect for her. She's been in a lot of movies that I like and I wish her and her family the best. I agree. I agree. And I think it's uh it's definitely crazy that they're saying it was all over the Will Smith. Yeah, they're just running with that. Will Smith and Chris, Chris Rock. 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 They just dragged it <laughs> to the beyond. Oh, apparently ridiculous. they had got well they're saying that um Fandy and Channing was arguing and then he like said I can't work with her and left yeah, and sped off in his car and and then she was fired, but no, they're saying she was dealing with personal matters. So I do wish, uh, wish them all the best, her and her family. And I'm not really into the Magic Mike movies, but they're cool. If if you're into that kind of stuff, they're definitely cool. It's a lot of, I mean, we see girls dancing on poles all the time and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like it's, I think it's cool to see men, you know, shaking a little tail here and there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so. Moving along, uh, the rapper, Archie, I guess, what was it, March 25th, he was shot? Yes. And then he just recently uh, succumbed to his injuries and passed on April 5th? It was either April 5th or 4th. And so, at first, you know, no one knew what was going on, what happened, but now reports are stating that his brother is actually his, his murderer. Mm -hmm. um, not too sure... You know, they're still investigating, but not too sure why his brother would want to kill his own brother. So that's a that's tragic. It's sad. It's sad, but it's not uncommon, unfortunately. It seems mm -hmm. like this happens a lot. 
it happened with Marvin Gaye, it happened with Roger Troutman. It mm. seems that's like why sometimes it's good to be away from, from your family. family. It's very yeah. strange. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's very strange how there's like a list of celebrities who have been shot and killed by family mm-hmm. members, and it, it it goes into a lot that I think you, you it makes you wonder. You know, when you do like make it in the entertainment industry and you're making all of this money, how all these family members got their hands out and feel like you're obligated to do stuff for them. Mm -hmm. I just feel like it has a lot to do with stuff like that, that it's usually money or some kind of a jealousy and envy type of thing going on. And it's really unfortunate because personally, I want to see everybody win. Any of my siblings doing good, they making money, I am happy for them. I don't think that they have to do anything for me or put me on or as they say I would never expect anything like that it's just sad and unfortunate that a lot of people that are talented that are able to make it in the entertainment industry end up having fates like this yeah I agree you got anything to say Miss Janice no no all right moving along we got a lot of rapper news today um so rapper cash out Apparently, he has been holding women hostage in a hotel room, forcing them into prostitution, um, beating them. Yeah, uh, there's a news clip that I'm going to um, play here in a few moments for you all. But he sings out, and that song he, he raps is very popular, Right Around With That Knee or something like mm-hmm. that. But let's get into um, the video clip. Well, the Fulton County uh, District Attorney's Office says human trafficking is a big priority for DA Fonnie Willis. And one reason is how much of it is going on in Metro Atlanta. And this case should serve as a warning to young women and their families about online invitations from strangers, big name rappers or not. The most troubling aspect of this case is that women have been victimized and brutalized within our community by people who had a chance to do something else with their lives. How many of these sex workers have been rescued? We've rescued two so far. Deputy Fulton County District Attorney Ernell Winfrey says, Hey, hey! John Michael Hakeem Gibson is a successful musical artist who performs under the name Cash Out, as seen on YouTube. Cash out. But she says Cash Out has also been successful in cashing in on his celebrity to lure at least one of his young female victims unwittingly into a life of prostitution. Was he making cash of young women? He was making money, indeed. Ms. Winfrey says Cash Out is the figurehead of an organization at the focus of a 41-count indictment handed down in late March against him and five others. He's a very talented musical performer. Unfortunately, he didn't stay in that business, and he branched off to the business that finds him under indictment. Ms. Winfrey says Cash Out faces 13 counts, including racketeering, plus trafficking a person for sexual servitude, rape and aggravated sodomy that allegedly occurred in a hotel room on Fulton Industrial Boulevard, keeping a place of prostitution at a home on Alfred Avenue Northwest, both locations shown in evidence photos, and beating a second victim with a belt. He's accused, yes, of whipping a, um, a young lady who's a sex worker. Um, and... This was one of the girls that he had recruited. A defense document predating the new indictment said, quote, Gibson was allegedly arrested for a rape charge where he did not even have sexual intercourse with the alleged accuser. Concerning one sexual servitude charge, it maintains the alleged accuser has never been in servitude. He's facing a 25 to life crime. Ms. Winfrey says one of Cash Out's co-defendants is a John, a prostitution customer, accused of six counts, including rape and pointing a gun at the victim. She says another suspect pointed a gun at a second young woman in another incident. We want parents and family members to be aware because one thing that we realize is that not just cash out but a lot of people are recruiting young women through social media all right so what are your thoughts ladies i don't understand why he have to put women on the street and do all that if he already make money being a artist See, this is the way I took it is this. Everybody knows, like, when you're rappers in particularly, girls are going to flock to you. What better way, if you're a predator, what better way to get a bunch of girls to flock to you to do what you want them to do than to be a rapper, gain popularity, and then trick off, you know, pimp, 
which is what he was doing. He was this pimping. man had a hit since ninety two. His only hit was <laughs> that cashing not, out. No, nah, that, that like, was his only hit. Fell off. He that <laughs> cashing out got him his little tribe of women and gr- young, immature that's girls mm-hmm. for him to do that. Yeah, that's and that's terrible. we should be teaching our girls to not fall for the flashy. Definitely. Don't agree. fall for the flashy. These dudes will take advantage of you. Don't be so young and naive that you fall for men like this. And sometimes the rappers would be the, the worst ones because they know that yes. you're vulnerable and they'll take a, be able to take advantage of you. And use uh, their because celebrity. Because of their status. Yeah. And, and that's what I feel like he did. Mm-hmm. He used his celebrity to lure, lure these naive young girls into doing what he wanted them to do. Sad. Yeah. All right, moving along. We're going to talk about the baby. The rapper, the baby. Mm-hmm. So, I'm like, who got the baby? <laughs> yeah. So, um, he shot uh intruder at his home. Only only in the lake, though. Only in the lake. So, he did, like you said, Mom, how you should... If you're trying to stop somebody from doing something, shoot them where they won't die. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so. Although you can still die getting shot in the leg if you hit a major. Well, you can artery. die if you hit a major artery, but most yeah. likely you won't. You won't yeah. yeah, like yeah. going to shoot somebody in the chest yeah. or something that's like true. that. Exactly. That's so true. he he took mama's. Uh, I, I appreciate that, <laughs> that baby. And he does, uh. and they said because I think it was two other people too, so it was three mm-hmm. total mm-hmm. that were intruders. One and one uh, was shot in the leg. And he has, of course, you know, the warning signs like no trespassing mm-hmm. around his house. He has security. At least he's not trying to kill nobody. He killed somebody in Walmart. Well, I guess did. that Walmart incident taught him not to keep killing people. Well, but in this case, he was completely justified. That's yeah. exactly what gun laws are made I for. I know, but think about it. He didn't kill him. Yeah, yeah. Just shot you know, that, like, that, that, you to me, that's say. good. Let him go on mm-hmm. and go to jail. But that's what gun laws were made for. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. Mm-hmm. Somebody, he has a license to carry his firearm. Yes, shoot my And I agree. The way house. he handled the situation, I agree. He called 911 mm-hmm. after shooting the the guy. Mm-hmm. And he has um, security surrounding his home. He, he did everything he was supposed to do. I don't agree do. with a lot of the baby's behavior, but he wasn't wrong in this case. Maybe now he, he's... Um, I'm telling yeah, after that learning. first shooting, he learned his lesson. So we do have the 911 call, and it is distorted only because this is the way that it was released to the media. Oh, they shooting! Yay. They shooting! No, uh, it's a motorcycle with kickback in our area. We live in a nice neighborhood. I don't know about nice. Right. It's, it's, well, it's safe. It's a guy who got killed right down there at the corner yeah. where they always have the flowers. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to play this this 911 call. And trust me, all media outlets have the same version. This is the way the police released the 911 call. So it is distorted. Okay. And why did you do he's that? Trespassing on, he's trespassing on my property, calling me by my name. I don't know what he's here for, what he's here to take, what he's here to do. But he's okay. got me ready. He's neutralized, he's neutralized until you guys get here. Sir, are you with him now? He's right here in front of me. Okay. Is he awake? Well, well, I'm going to put my property. Sir, is he awake? Yes. Yes. Do you hear me? Is he breathing? Yes. Yes. He's stopped. Okay. And it's late. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 I said yes, bro. Okay. Is he completely alert? Is he what? Is he completely alert? Do you hear him? Do you not hear this man, bro? Sir, I'm asking you, is he completely alert? So in the, video you can cl- in the video, you can clearly hear the gentleman in the back moaning. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't blame him for... He said he, 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 yeah, yeah. he stopped. He stopped. Yeah, you don't hear him moaning in the background. He that stopped. That's funny, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, any, well, I guess we kind of said our thoughts yeah, before he, anything else. He had every right to defend somebody yeah. breaking in his home. Yeah. All right, so moving along. We're going to do like it's my meeting. Jocelyn Hernandez. She's mm. being sued for $25 million. <laughs> what is it, four women from four the? Four women from the uh, Las Vegas Cabaret. Yeah, Cabaret. So you guys remember almost a month now. 
they filmed the reunion, which has not been released. Uh, Zeus has We're not waiting. premiered it. Yeah, wait. I told you, you ain't going to get to see it. I told you uh, that's what I'm worried about. That mm-hmm. they're not going to hear it because but, they're going to use it for evidence yeah, against her. I might. told you though, with uh, Rose Chance that Love, it took a month for them to premiere yeah. the reunion for that. Oh, so um, and there was a lot of fights on that too. Yeah, but they probably should not air it only because I'm pretty sure. I want to see it. Don't that. say that. I air it, Zeus. I do, air it. but they should wait. And then they're gonna use it for evidence. evidence. It will be used as evidence, and it will also show the truth, Eric. But, but we all know how she is yeah. from Love and Hip Hop. Mm-hmm. How she was. She attacks her. But you know what? Kind of uh, makes me upset with her. She big. You want to root for her? No, she. No, I don't. She's big and manly, and she likes to hit on she girls. She almost two hundred pounds and almost six foot. Then okay. Yeah, she did. Okay. Then what? And then she hired the littlest people and started beating the shit out of them. That, no, that's wrong. The reason why I say you want to root for her is because I don't you want to root, root for her. You root for her because you've seen her come off a of living hip hop. She was kind of about, about her. Strip clubs but the, yeah, yeah. yeah. You but see the her other come thing off is she, love she, and hip hop. And then, but then you see she's once she went crazy on love and hip hop at the reunion. Uh-uh. The next reunion, she was apologetic. Uh-uh. She was super nice. She well, was on that marriage boot camp. And she was crying. Oh, Stevie, try to take my baby. He deserved to take her baby. She well, crazy. Well, he's definitely going to get the baby out She is his. crazy. Uh, so is Stevie. Stevie crazy. Well, let me say his name correctly. Stevie. Stevie. <laughs> he, is this, like, he is a mess. And he confuses me because one moment he's talking like he got some common sense and the next one he does something ignorant. Like Jocelyn. Like on, um, I think it's when they're not high, when they're not on drugs, when yep. they're hiding, came down. Because on um, Growing Up Hip Hop, he talked a lot of stuff about his daughter when uh, his his daughter um, Savannah got into it with Sequoia, you know who JoJo's the daughter, who's so disrespectful. I think he didn't want to be arguing with her on that yeah. show. She is so disrespectful. He kind of stood sure. there, but he kind of stood there in a daze. And then the next, and then that uh, next aspect, he did an interview, and it was a young lady interviewing him, and it was like on Zoom, and he mm-hmm. was getting um, fellatio. During the interview, like you couldn't Whoa. see, you couldn't see it, but you can like hear and suspect what was going yeah, on. Yeah, and that was highly disrespectful. Oh my yeah. god, talking yeah. to his daughter? No, he's this is another girl who was doing the interview. Just like some girl. yeah. Oh my yeah. god, that right. is a, so a young disgusting. girl just doing the interview, and, was, and it was like very, very. Oh, that is disgusting. It went viral. Oh my god, but I, we, I didn't so post it. On oh, our poor page. baby Bonnie Bella. Don't have a chance. She, oh, yeah. poor Bonnie Bella. Yeah, she don't have a chance. But, oh, that poor um, baby. You guys recall after? Okay, so of course social media gets all the news out. So Jocelyn was tweeting after the re, uh, reunion was filmed, and so was. Oh, what, dang it! What is her name? Amber. A- Amber. Amber Lee. And then Lexi Blow. Lexi Blow. Um, the girl who calls herself K Capri. K Capri. And then um, the crazy girl. That uh, uh, uh what was said she's name? a wrestler and how she talks yeah, to God. Yeah, she, she was crazy. So they all went on social media and was tweeting about what was going on and going on live. They posted it. Yeah, but Jocelyn, like, she tweeted, like, your guts went to your ass she after that. She said she did the Mortal she, Kombat kick yeah, on them yeah. girls. So she was she was definitely uh, definitely criminating herself. She managed she enough to do Mortal Kombat kick on somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But what's her tweets up right now? Her man got involved. And she was like, "Keep crying from your hospital bed with your broken ribs. One kick, you flew into the next day." Right. You know what the asshole, sad thing like, is? All kinds of stuff. She ain't. They suing her, but they suing Zeus too. Mm-hmm. So they well, gonna get the money because Jocelyn one, ain't got twenty five no, million dollars. But they gonna get only, that money. I think the lawsuit is only targeting Jocelyn because people are saying that they should have sued Zeus as well. And Zeus released a statement after like all the oh, tweets that going live. Yes. Y'all have it up right now on the um, video. So they saying basically that they don't condone violence. Um, it's not script. Well, unprovoked violence. It's not scripted. They're revealing evidence and, you know, things like that. That's what they said they about Chance. Violence. And they yeah. followed them girls with them they cameras did. and Chasing watched them, them fight. With their wigs ripped off. Yeah. And, they chased and them watched them fight. Yeah, One girl was did. practically naked. Yeah. They loved it and they it still was they were like, you know what? posted on let's our not, page yeah. how uh, Zeus, we don't condone violence. Yeah. Also Zeus. Also Zeus. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. you know, let's not play dumb here. Jerry Springer became popular for a reason. People love to see people fight. People love to see drama. Zeus Knew, ex- knew exactly what they were doing mm-hmm. when they hired Jocelyn to have a show. They expected this to happen. They expected there to be 
fights and drama because it's all that that makes good TV and it is true. It's it's the problem of the uh, audience. It is because we watch that shit. We do. I don't watch a rap. No, you then. watch I, fights I, all the I, time. I watch fights all the time. But I don't watch Jocelyn's show. No, you don't watch Jocelyn's show. But what they're doing is they're playing she ain't off nothing of but a big old, But she ain't nothing women. but a big old bully. Now, I watch Bad Girls Club and stuff like that. But They Jocelyn, also do the same thing, though. I know, but Jocelyn is a man fighting them women. Go Jocelyn fight them man. men. Just like her boyfriend jumped in the fight. No, no, he jumped, pulled jumped out that girl's edges. She said the only edges she had left. She said he pulled out the last. But he jumped in because they was finally getting Jocelyn. You yeah. know, they was finally whooping her. And, and he jumped and, in. Uh, he dude, I saw no girls man. trying to defend Jocelyn and like everybody knows she about. I went and got her goddamn right. no, show. Right. Oh, they tried to jump her. They tried to jump her. Heck like, yeah, they have every reason to jump her. It takes them to jump her. Every reason to jump her. She's a man. <laughs> no, not because she's a man. I don't even want to do that because I hate how. That is put on, you know, black women that are stacked. I hate how... She act like, just like a man. She no. came in on love hit, hip-hop, bigger than everybody, swinging over everybody, clocking NeNe. No, not NeNe. What's a, Scrappy's first girlfriend? Erica. Erica. Hitting her over everybody. If but you mine. listen, but my nothing. I'm a little woman, <laughs> mine, and I okay. don't want no giant. Mine, 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 I don't want no giant. I ain't gonna say no I ain't gonna say no giant. Listen, but you calling my? I had call to her a man. And hit her and, but my, you calling her a man, and you have always had like a tough persona. Even our own dad said, "Uh, what? what do we think he should talk to a man? Oh, he talking to a man, talking you to your mom." I don't get offended. But you also that. agree that you Joshua will get should into, know she's a man. But you'll admit that you'll get into I bet like you a I wouldn't fight her. Mode. I'd have a gun. No, but you would talk shit. You, you would definitely curse her ass. Yeah, but I should have a kneecap. Yeah, you would. Ma, Ma, you have no filter. You would not just stand there but and she let just her do wrong, shit to though. You. She act like she liked it. Them girls call them all. I don't have no show calling people on there and then try to jump on them. No, I agree. You're absolutely right. But she does. She the fact that y'all already knew she does this type of shit. You already know she does this type of I, shit. I, maybe them girls didn't know. Maybe but I, didn't I, I, I think Robin they're absolutely talk. right in suing and that they should sue and win. I do. Just like people would say that Chris Rock could sl- sue for being slapped. I, I, I agree with the girls because even though they, they did should have known better because Jocelyn is fucking wild. Yeah, but, but but and then think about the two episodes before that. I didn't watch them either, but she was always fighting somebody. Always, always She's jumping always on them. They she, wouldn't even know she, she about to hit them. She be on that stuff. She it's be on that. What they call because like, I'm never gonna hear how she the way she attacked Tammy so randomly. Walker's Tammy wife. Rivera. Yeah, the way she attacked Jealous Tammy was just her. sitting there looking and see, cute. Yeah, and that's she just the thing. Attacked her. That was the thing. And she then that's what they're saying that cute. she did to the. You know, what is her name? The one who's in the beginning, the white girl with the blonde hair. What is her name? About, though? Uh, she was so sweet. She didn't do nothing to nobody. Like she literally did nothing that's to nobody. She's one of the four she that's meet. suing. And then you Jocelyn. know the thing about her. Jocelyn won't pick. Nobody that's, that's big like, like Tommy, her. Tom, she called the police on Tommy. Right. Crazy Tommy. She was worried about Tommy. Tommy, Tommy yeah. wasn't no tiny woman, but she, she stacked wasn't, like her. Yeah, stacked like her. And she could have gave her something for me. Why don't Jocelyn hire people like her? Because she want people to be weaker than her. She, that, want, she don't want to have wrong. people like she yell, even and the big girl be got K Capri. She even got K Capri face and got mad, even though she didn't say it to her face. When Kay Capri when first came on the scene and on her show, she got her face like, don't think just because you big, you don't scare me, and I'll whoop your she ass, and she was cracking and up. You know what? She kept calling her but E.J. You know Johnson. What? Yeah, I was going to say, you saying yes. we should call her man, but she was calling Kay Capri. Right. Like, no, calling no, her, but calling this is what e. I mean. That's she was true. calling her E.J. Johnson, mm-hmm. and that's a new, I, I don't tall, agree. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but this is my mm-hmm. thing. Have you noticed, has that ever happened with any other group of women? I don't know, because I'm only really around us. I, well, I can tell you as somebody that's, uh, I've been called white girl ever in my school years because I'm into everything and I'm into all people. I, I hang around everybody. I'm so friends with daughter. everybody. Yeah. I, I love everything. I, I do not discriminate when it comes to race. I think people are people. I don't care what race you are. I love I'm not everybody. discriminating, but, but I don't really care for the bullies. Only, the only white woman. she's been woman. a bully ever since she's been on TV. Yes, but 
It seems like people they only so, They used accused. to call China a man, the wrestler China no, 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 all the no, no, time. No, 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 no. This is where I was getting at. That, that's what I was getting at. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to get oh, at sorry. it because yeah. I am in other, like I'm invested in other communities because I'm a people person. I, I love people regardless of your weight. I used to be a people nights. person, but they but so naughty. I've noticed I that it seems like black women, especially dark-skinned black women, are always called men. Mm-mm. The only other, like China, China, uh, China doll, from That's wrestling. not true. She was called a man because she pink was, was called a man. Pink, she was about to say yeah. pink but, because of her uh, chiseled but, waistline. But they call her pink a man. People around jumping on people. No, she, she acts like. Reason why I call Jocelyn man. But she acts like a man. Turkey. She uh, likes to spring and start mom. eating. Mom. Turkey is turquoise. Ma, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, mom. Uh, Michelle Obama was called a man, but she's still what? called a man. She don't. She don't jump on people. She they, dresses. They uh, call. They, they call Sierra Ser- a man uh, for years. Serena you know Williams is they, called a man. I wouldn't call. They don't. You don't understand. She run around jumping on people, but but I they, ain't gonna call nobody. But they're calling women that don't jump on people men. Well, I don't care what they doing. I'm not. So calling how that. about we just agree to say that. No matter what ethnicity you are, it's more so your your body structure and the way you hit on the way you jump on people. Assumed to be strong. But we just said like pink just and like China, but they're but, not but, black. But, but those are two women. Give me more. Give me more of white women, Mexican women, Asian women being called man for being tough. For being tough. Well, for I don't think tough. pink was tough. It's no, her she body was, structure. But she was built. She was built like Sierra. And she was more built. Everybody than Sierra, knew that Sierra. Well, if they thought Sierra, the if they thought Sierra was a man, they was a just jealous. She's a you she's a pretty anybody woman. Else, but I can give you a they list of jealous. black women that were called men. Uh, fucking uh, Michelle Obama, uh, Serena, Sierra. Uh, hell, look what they're doing to fucking Jada Pinkett now. Even they accused her of being manly and emasculating Will and shit like that. It's constantly bombarded against black women. Unfortunately, well, I hate to say it. I call them like I see them. Uh, the wrestler girl, The Rock's cousin, Roman Reigns' cousin, they call her a man. And she ain't black. I call you them like I see You don't know her name, though. Her name you is know who Nia, I'm talking about, though. Nia Jax. Exactly. The, uh, but they just call her big, not necessarily No, I hear man. her being called a man. Publicly, like, in society? Well, well I'm only, like, Around on three the internet, people. so I can't say what they say out. You need to stay the out of them right holes. That's what you need to do. <laughs> no, I'm just observing. This is what I observe everywhere. That's all I'm doing. But I'm saying a lot of people are, a lot of women, though, it's not right, no matter what ethnicity you are. Yeah. I'm, not, you're like you're I'm only saying, yeah. not that she's strong. No, she's a bully. Build, they like to call you a man. And I don't I'm think it's right. I'm saying that way, because she's a bully. Just like a lot, of, to a lot of body, transgender, uh, transgender women to be called a lot of bodybuilders. A lot of female bodybuilders are called menly. Yeah. Well, that's is, what my I said. daughter showed me a, a YouTube video. This one lady, she's Caucasian, and she was saying how she can't get this because people say she's a man and she's not a man and she's not black. I call them like I see them. If you're a bully and you big, mostly bigger than all the but girls you be around, many, and start that's how many, how many, how many, fem- how many feminine looking, and like I, how many Michelle Obamas of white descent have you been and called? I, and I'm gonna, called men? and I'm gonna be honest. Michelle Obama is a very feminine looking woman, and, yeah, she and she's called a man. She's called a man by who? People that's society. jealous. Society. So, you know what? She didn't pay society no attention. Tell me a white woman that looks like her, that like uh, carries herself like her, that's called a man. And I'm going to be uh, honest. This is completely, we took the wrong turn. I'm talking about Jocelyn. Um, but I'm going to be honest. I really only know of my culture. So I can't. I know I of really other cultures. And this is why I'm so passionate. About but I really it, can't. I see. Unless I come across a story of someone of a different eth- of an ethnicity or hair, you know. Certain but you were right not, about like pink and like yeah, uh, China doll. Things like that. But right I'm more so. That. And I, maybe I shouldn't be. But I'm more so into you know, my community. So I do a lot of research about my I But community. you have to involve other communities. No, I do. But like you just said, how I mentioned, a, you know, a few of the people, those yeah. I, you know, I know, but I'm saying like, I'm not to where I want to, 
Well, I she's, am, but she's I don't. She's adverse, but she no, don't. No, in that subject. Yeah, like I don't dig, you know. not adverse. I don't I'm not saying she's not the, adverse in general. Yeah. Okay, y'all, let's move All on. All right. Oh, yeah, we, we got to move on. All right, so Tashina Arnold. And this would be the longest one. Yes. So Tashina Arnold, um, she is Pam on Martin. She was Rochelle. Everybody hates Chris. And she is currently on The Neighborhood with Sarah's Beauty Retainer as his wife. Good um, show. So, yeah, I love that show. It's a good talk. show. So she tweeted, and this is on April 13th. Honest question. What can we as black women in America do to stop aiding in the emasculation of black men in America? And this basically went viral. Like, she had a lot of good responses, a lot of negative responses. And it just, yeah, it was crazy. So... Janice, what do you have to say about this? I have a lot to say about this. One, she is wrong about that. And then she came from a show where a man dressed as multiple women. And they consider nowadays men dressing up as women, women they consider emasculation. emasculation. And the show she's referring to is Martin. Martin. They consider that emasculation. Now, although I will say. I love Martin, one of the greatest comedy shows ever. I love all of his characters. I think Martin is a dope comedian and everything. But I don't think it's right to try to put the way men put their images out there on women. Mm -hmm. I think that's wrong. There's nothing we can do to change how men or black men in particular are viewed. They control that, not us. We don't have anything to do with that. You show who you are, like the same as me presenting myself. Look at that! 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 Look
who I am as a woman. I decide who I am as a woman. I could very well have friends and people that I love surrounded by me. Stop I'm going to do whatever I do, want to do, regardless we of ate, how anybody we gave feels him, about Eve that gave Adam that apple, and we haven't been able to live it down but since. Let's please read <laughs> some of the comments. That yeah, I got uh, some of the tweets up right now. Um, but I did want to <clears throat> say, like, the way that the world is going now and with the whole people that don't want to have a, be identified by their gender, mm-hmm. things like that, that is just what's happening in the world. It doesn't stem from black women. Mm-hmm. You know, if a man chooses not to take on a manly role, that's mm-hmm. his personal choice. If mm-hmm. a, uh, just like Beyonce and Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. Jay-Z said that there's no gender roles in him and Beyonce's relationship. Mm-hmm. Does that mean that Beyonce... You know, and that's what it, uh, Jay Z. Mm-hmm. No, it's their their own uh, choices. Mm-hmm. And I think that to blame black women, that's freaking insane. And uh, secondly, a lot of the things, the way that things were back then, is not how things are now. You know, the cavemen time, the cavemen go out mm-hmm. and be the ones to hunt, and the women be in the kitchen having to, you know, cook it. Now the that's women not, got to go out and grab yeah. the man yeah. by the hair and drag yeah. his ass and throw him in that's the kitchen. That's not the way things are. And, and emasculating a man doesn't stem from... Women. Mm-mm. No, not at all. And it, it's just a, a, a role, mm-hmm. really. That's mm-hmm. really what it is. Mm-hmm. A, a man being what they think a man should be, mm-hmm. it's, just, yes. it's just coming from a role. It doesn't have anything to do with black women. If anything, say the same thing about uh, white women, Hispanic mm-hmm. women, and that that c- also comes from their own relationship. So if they d- decide, well, hey, I'm gonna I'm the one, but I'm gonna be married to a guy that I prefer to stay be a stay at home dad. Mm-hmm. Nothing to do There's with us as black women. There's one thing though I want to point out here because there was something that was mentioned in some of her comments. Uh, there was a lot of things that I would like to address. I have, I'm pulling up all the some the of her comments, here. but one in particular was that black women support gay men black women support transgender you know boys that become women they mentioned zaya wade in some of these comments they mentioned black women being supportive of zaya wade and i'm like how does that equal us promoting this or that us pushing an agenda for loving a child right open enough to say I right. feel You're like a girl. You're supposed to hate her because you or want hate her, and then hate or her or hating her was gonna do mm-hmm. what? Make her hate herself mm-hmm. and to the point well, where she, she want to kill like herself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Miss she's suicide. gonna want to kill. So that's what you mean by us supporting mm-hmm. emasculation because we're not gonna hate on a transgender mm-hmm. child because we're not gonna hate on a gay child. That and, makes no sense to me. Why yeah. would you want us to hate people for being who they and are? They're so, not even hurting anybody. You know what's so crazy is this has come from black people who. For years, wanted to be accepted, mm-hmm. but we by won't Caucasian accept other people. people. Mm-hmm. That is, that's the, that that's is the, very hypocritical. It's, it's the I, ironic, I most wanna, ironic shit. I want to be accepted by the Hispanics, or I want to be accepted uh, by the no, Caucasian. But you're doing this, you're discriminating against other the, people. Those who, you know, and it doesn't to even matter. If you, and you know what's sad is somebody had posted that, uh, and it almost damn near made me cry. I felt really, really bad. Somebody had posted it was a gay man that I follow on uh, Facebook, he had posted, um, because somebody had posted, the only way that black men are loved is if they uh, name somebody who loves black men unless they can provide for them, and they said black women and gay people. Because who's always out there on the front lines when somebody is, particularly a black man is killed by police, is gay black people and it's black women out there p- protesting. You're literally protesting for people that hate you that, that that talk about how horrible you are or how you're detrimental to the community but you out there fighting for them mm-hmm. mom I don't know, mom. well i think her of course everyone has freedom of speech have the right to say what they want to say but i definitely Ask think whatever so, but- I definitely think- okay, okay. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. Hey, Tick, so Buck just told me you want your own self to set just now. Yeah. You've never done that in four, four years. I'm dying to get up out of this bitch. Being hurt and not being a criminal. Listen, your ass says.
to the community when you don't steal, you don't rob, and yes. you're just a decent. Mm, yes. That is an asset yes. to the community. Mm, you don't have to be famous, have a lot of money, and do all yeah. that. Just be a decent person. Yes. I agree. I and agree. I and I think, honestly, um, to answer to Sheena's uh, tweet, because I didn't respond to it or anything like that. I didn't but, either. As a, as a black woman, Tashina, if you want to know what you can do to uh, stop, in your opinion, um, emasculating black men, is when you get in a relationship, let that black man lead and you be submissive or be a little puppet. But that's not, you shouldn't put that on everybody else, on all black women. Because mm -hmm. really, that's what it, that's what it is. It's a man, a man having a role. Bossing uh, you around. Mm -hmm. Basically, yes. Mm -hmm. So there's your answer. If that's what you want, if you want a man to lead, if you want to be submissive and be a little housewife, then that's on you. But don't put that stigma out on mm. all black women. And this women. is another mm -hmm. thing. If you notice how every, like going off of the comments, I really want to get into the comments mm -hmm. of that 2023 dude who responded to Tashina's uh, comments and how he blamed everything on black women. He blamed black women having these kids and raising these kids of why this shit is happening. And this is what I have to say. But based off of what you just said, y'all y'all supposed to be the leaders of the community. If y'all the leaders of the community, how is everything the woman's fault? Wouldn't that mean that we're the leaders? Mm -hmm. We're the leaders. Obviously. The they leaders. don't want to say it. it, it, it you don't mm -hmm. want to say, like, oh, y'all want... Why do you have to ask for a submission from black? Mm -hmm. Why should I submit to you when I got to lead you? Mm -hmm. You should be submitting to me. Mm -hmm. Why? It makes no the, the The dialogue that's happening with this, and I hate to say it, but I feel like the black community, I, I'm going to get on my PDD mode here, the black community is dismantled, just like the band. <laughs> The black community is dismantled. If you're going to tell the women in the community we're supposed to be responsible for how the men, the grown men <laughs> turn out and act a fool in the community. Because you know what uh, I've always said? If you don't like the way you were raised or your parents I'm, did something, you're supposed to change that when you have a kid. But see, the, and, and you the raise them the right way if your parent did something wrong. Mm -hmm. but you the, know, because that's all thing, you can though, do. Like you can disagree with your parents and still love your parents. Like me and you, like me growing up, we've always had disagreements, but like, this is my mama. The only, you know what? I didn't have a disagreement with all, all my your kids, kids, except for Turkey. But, but we all went our own way. We all had our own ideas. You, what you chose to do, did not decide what we chose to no. do as an adult. So it don't make sense to me to say that these women are responsible for the but you choices of these grown men. I feel like that's just something. They it's wanna, a scapegoat. They mm -hmm. want to just talk about something. They life so boring. They ain't got no life. People that sit up there and judge and what can we do better? Live in the Please community and be comments. decent. Please, because I'm. It's very, very I important to me. The, uh, screen. It's very important. To read it to mom with this guy. Said. Hey, I don't care what he said. I don't like going down the rat holes. I don't care what he said. You can read it. I mean, I want you to have a response to it. Oh no, thank you. But go ahead, read it. But I ain't going. I'm gonna try not to respond. Cause if it's ignorant, why respond? Because this is the narrative being pushed. Okay, so one of the tweets is, the man isn't an idiot, LOL. He can do what he wants and suffers zero consequences. All he has to do is pay child support unless he's broke, which is another L for the woman, by the way. He's the child support, women having babies. The child support money is not going to phase him. His life still goes on smooth. Yep, in jail. When he's you don't pay that child why, support. Why single mothers are the problem. Like he 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 was basically responsible. But you to know what? Saying, what about the dads? Need he to said realize, the dads have no responsibility. Say, but then that's an ignorant comment. That's ignorant. And when we ask why are all these grown men committing these crimes and end up in jail? Oh, they were raised by single mothers. No. Is what the response is? No, it's because they don't want to work women, and earn money like. Everybody but else. when it comes to women, why is that never narrative never the same? When it comes to grown women making choices to date uh, bad men or whoever, it's always, oh, you need to hold yourself accountable. Mm -hmm. But let, tell a black man, why are you in jail? Because my mama was single? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the it, fuck? And a, a, a female um, tweeted, no one wants to be a single mother. Two people lay down and have sex for pleasure and end up with a child. Not everyone believes in abortion. So, 
They're even making it illegal these days. Men have full control mm -hmm. over unwanted pregnancies yes. by keeping their semen to themselves. Yes, so, yep. And the guy that you were referring to, the yes. 2023 person, uh, responded, any woman that gets pregnant and was told by the man that he does not want it but refuses to go to the clinic has decided she wanted to be a single mother. It's that simple. Women have full control over who gets born out here in the West. Be accountable for your choices. You say he's a gay guy? No, he's the one that's talking craziness. Oh. I sent a bunch of tweets. I was going to say, yeah, he don't he give sent. a damn if you single mom no, because he's no, gay. No, he's, he's both no, the way. He's basically saying that single moms are destroying the community. The fact no, that not. we're having What these about children, the decent people that's in no. the world? They keep on just saying the but bad listen, people. What about all the decent people that's listen, been born? They're literally blaming Get all out the bad red people. Holes, Nisi. No turkey. Uh, not turkey mama. <laughs> I'm you sorry. Going back and forth. Me and turkey are always going back and forth. Get but, out uh, the red holes. What he's saying is black women that are single and have children we are destroying the community just by having these children and raising them. That's that somehow true. us choosing, like, if the dad is like, oh, I don't want this kid, after he shot up the club, you know, like, men, it's so weird to me that men don't want to hold themselves accountable for their own sperm. You don't have to ejaculate inside of a woman. You don't have to give a woman your sperm. Why is that you want to give a woman your sperm and then get mad what she does with it? It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, if she then gets pregnant and to be a single that, mother and that's like if you choice. choose to have the kid and raise the kid, if the kid and turns to be out honest, bad, it's because as adults they, we make our own decisions. Most of the time when a woman do, the men don't tell them that they don't want the kid. They, Your they dad did not tell me not once. We was having them back to back. Yeah. He did not say, oh, yeah, I don't want this one. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. We did what we had to do. But the only one I didn't have back to back was me. Yeah. The other ones are like, what, a year three apart? Three years apart from me. I'm three years apart from you. I'm five years. Y'all talking about the other ones. Like the other ones, uh, back to back. Maurice, do you, you as long as y'all? Back like, to back, except for Turkey. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah but I'm just saying, if he just said, I don't want none of these kids, then I would have understood but that with, he didn't want them. But that don't make me get rid of them. Saying, I still can keep them and raise them yes, myself. But this is what this dude is saying. Please. Because he said, otherwise, suffer the biggest ill of your lives. Because single mothers are only getting dick down out here. They aren't getting wifed. Meanwhile, baby daddy's getting married and are, are still running in these streets unbothered. The ones with some kind of money, that is. <laughs> and these are the same dudes that also say that women initiate 80% of divorces. Why do you think it is? Those same baby dads that you're saying, uh, they're able to do whatever they want. They're getting divorced by these women. The women are divorcing these men at high rates. And the fact that he wants to put all the blame on the women and take no accountability for where he sticks his dick makes no sense to me. If you shooting up the club, you can't be mad that a child comes out and be mad at the woman for giving birth to that child. And if she's raising that child on her own, regardless of how that child comes out, because I've never seen a household where all the children just came out great. The same. Yeah, it's the I've same. Never seen, whether you can be two raised parent in the same household, household it doesn't matter if it's a two-parent different. household or a single-parent household. Yep. I've never seen a household where there is multiple children and they all turn out the same. Mm -hmm. And then I think about my own life and I'm like, I have never in my life thought to blame my parents for the choices that I've made in life. Never in my life. And the fact that there are men out here Who's raising these men? It's these single mothers. And then not and completely absolving the absent father of any resp responsibility. They're just mad at these women that have kids and they're encouraging men to not date these women. I say stop and, having and these anything, men. Stop having these babies. I, like They hate Cynthia G for saying stop giving birth to male black babies. But that's what they're telling you. They're literally telling you that, that your value do decreases from giving birth to them. They're literally telling you that you're not worth shit if you have them. And They're literally any, saying that. Yeah, if, and if anything, um, the question should be, what can we do as a black community mm -hmm. to, to you come know, together? Keep, exactly. Mm -hmm. Come together. Keep your families together. No, even, instead, even they want to you, blame the women and say, you oh, you're not worthy of anything. Even if you and the mother or the, or, the, or the father are not together, what can you do? 
to raise a child mm-hmm. in a stable environment. Back in the day, it used to be as they say it take a, a village. village. And yeah. back you know, in the day, also village used to help. You know, it's, like, like, like when we've mentioned this before, and I feel like this is so strange how this has came into fruition because they're basically saying, "Hey, kids." They're saying, hey, kids, if you see a woman that has kids, ignore her. Fuck that kid. That kid doesn't deserve anything because his father left his mother. That's what they're saying. That's basically what they're saying. And this kid doesn't deserve anything. And when they grow up and acting a fool, you can blame their mother for everything. It makes no sense at all. It's absolutely ridiculous. And Tupac said, uh, our race is going to be, we're mm going to have a race of babies that that will hate ladies that make babies. Yep, he did say that. He said that, and it's happening right now. Yep, It's like he saw the future, if you think. And he was only 24 years old. Yes, a lot of uh, his songs, if you live. He was a Listen, young man that he, didn't hate his mother. Yeah, and he also he was honest about mama. right. And he loved his mama. Right. Even as a crack fiend. Yeah. Was a black queen. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the end of our show. Any final thoughts, ladies? I could go on forever about this, but. Uh, Get out the rat holes. <laughs> right no, I mean, we right. need to address right. the right. shit. Home. We need to address the shit. I want to put this message out to especially young black girls and the young black boys that are willing to listen. Stop that. If, if you want to hold women accountable, I never see anybody saying that women made horrible cho- choices in men because they were raised by single moms or single yeah. dads. I've never heard that. But men, go- grown men going to jail and committing crimes somehow is blamed on the fact that their mother is single, and mm-hmm. that makes no sense to me. Nope. At the end of the day, just uh, hold yourself accountable. Yeah, take responsibility for yourself. And try minding your own business. And mind your own business. Yeah, because I think if you mind, yeah, I think if you mind your own business and take care of your own household and stuff, it wouldn't be so much confusion and 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 even all that in the world. You could have been the best mom in the world, and if I chose to go out there and fuck up, commit a crime, that would not be your fault because I'm a grown woman and I make my own decisions. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing for men. These men making up, blaming their moms for them being shitty people is pissing me off. And on that note, we'll catch you next week. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. All right, have good. a good one. Thank you for joining us. Hold yourself accountable. Mm-hmm. <laughs>